Hi, I'm Kudu and uh, welcome to India's. Hi, I'm Kudu and uh, welcome to this inauguration of India's largest luxury interior store by Karigar. And uh, we're here with the whole Karigar team and I'm Kudu from the other store select team. So guys, you know, it's really a great day and a great moment for all of us to be here together. And um, we've seen Kariga start, you know, with small beginnings and then middle, and now we got such a huge 8,000 square foot showroom right in the premium area of Bangalore. So congratulations to all of you. Thank you. So um, let's uh, start with uh, Abhishek. Um, tell us how has the journey been? The journey has been great. Working with the Arista has been always a pleasure and we are both as a team pushing each other very hard. Why this is not possible? It took us one year to just design this whole showroom. So everybody asking when is it opening? I said, unless we design it properly, we just can't execute. So there are so many to and fro submissions, so many meetings, sitting day and night, working with them, virtual calls, coming to the showroom, seeing how it will be visualized. So, but yeah, the end product is great, absolutely luxurious. This is India's first Aristo select showroom, biggest in Bangalore. Uh, Biggest uh, luxury showroom in Bangalore and India's first Aristo set. But uh, every single product what we have displayed has got so much details in it. So you need to come and see the solution and what it is that you have got it. This is how you do it. Very good, Abhishek. And I think that uh, really there are three ingredients that help bring this kind of vision to life. First is, like you said, all the collaboration. Second is to really have a shared vision and a shared strategy of working together and working towards a common goal. And I think third and really the most important thing is the details, right? Because, you know, where does screw meet wood? Where does glass meet metal? You know, where does cabinetry meet civil? You know, so Abhishek, uh, I'm sorry, Vinay, would you tell us a little bit about the shared vision and the strategy that we have together with Adisto and uh, Karigar? Well, as uh, I can say that we have worked really good as a team and uh, uh, the kind of detailing that we have gone into, yet, as you actually said, that what should be connected to what, and you know, the right kind of combinations of the wood with the cabinetry and the fixtures and everything. All these are very, very important factors. The, as soon as we use the wrong fixture in any particular cabinetry, the entire thing gets screwed up. Right? So, that calculation, that analyzation, that whole planning is the most important thing if you want to have the best finished product for a customer. That's great, Vinayak. And, uh, you know, like we were talking about strategy. And, you know, I, I can see Karigar has a very clear strategy on the luxury segment, on residences. And I would think most importantly on customer excellence. Right? So, Ashwinder, you want to talk about a, little, a bit about this? So, um, we started this company because we wanted to kind of, uh, you know, really raise the pain points which people face. This was an extremely unprofessional industry as we all know it. So that is the vision with which both of us started the company. And uh, so this is, you know, I think this is what we've held on to and this has really helped us anchor ourselves. Wherever we get stuck, just remind us that customer satisfaction, the satisfaction of really the people, facing the people in front of every other thing, that is what is most important. So, you know, it is really, really, it's not only about customer satisfaction, it is about any person who kind of gets in touch with the brand, who kind of gets associated with us, whether it's our employees, it's our the, the laborers, the people who walk into our um, experience center, anybody who is actually just getting to know our experience, the brand. We believe in creating that whole experience for them. They should really feel that they are experiencing luxury. There is something in that experience which they should carry with themselves always. So I think that is what has kind of just um, helped us and it also has really lived, you know, I think when they, this vision has really helped us and it has um, proved that it has worked all of these years. Yeah. Very well, uh, very well said. And you know, I really like to take this point on the brand because when you're in the luxury segment and you're doing such high-end work and you know, the important thing is how do you communicate this to the customer? How do you communicate the brand? What does the brand mean? So, Asha, let me ask you, what does, in your mind, what does the Karigar brand mean? And what does the Aristo Association with that brand mean? 
when we talk about Karigar as a brand, it's of course luxury, like you know, it's everything. Whenever, like, if we talk about any single materials and uh, or a product, especially a Karigar association with the Aristos, right? Uh, usually, I have seen like you know when the people are saying, "Oh, I love this wardrobe," like this much. Oh, I love this wardrobe, right? So this feels like Aristo and the Karigar, like the the two very uh, like you know the luxury brand merge together and make a fantastic end product. Right, and this is what, uh, like, you know, it's very important, like, you know, why the people also actually, when they feel it, uh, they they can sense that key, yes, with the great uh, mechanism, with the great material, with the great design, has come all together, and then they are getting a luxury and nothing. So yes. Yeah. So I, you know, what I hear from you is that the product is the main medium of communication, really. Of course. And yeah. <laughs> But I think, you know, more, I mean, we got, let's take a step back and I, let me ask you, Abhishek, see, we have a great product, we have a great brand. Now, how do you actually bring that brand association and the product association to your customers? Because, I mean, that's really where the rubber meets the road. So how do you get that communication across? How do you let them know about the premiumness of the brand? How do you walk them through the whole journey from you know, the inception, the thought, right till the point where they can move in and stay their first night in the, their homes. Yeah. You see, every customer whom we meet will come with their expectation. They have got, already they have visioned their house that it should look like this. And Aristo is, I always believe that Aristo is a technology company. The way you work and the way we work, I always thought we are technology. Kitchen is, we don't make kitchen and water, we are a technology based company. So, the entire engineered products what we try to bring in, will have some limitation. And we have to overcome that limitation. And that's why we push Aristo and ourselves, our team. If you say not possible, we understand it's not possible, then we come up with another solution. Okay, let, let, let this be possible. And this is how it from the last eight years of the association. We have been pushing each other very hard, sitting in a room, designing, sketching. So every time, I never believed in catalogs. As when we started the company, we, I never believed that we are a catalog based company. And today, till today, we are not a catalog based company. Every single house we do is so different. Every single house we read the customer mind, give them the color combination, sit with them, sketch it. But yes, it should fit with the technology. Because we don't want ultimately a carpenter designing a wardrobe for us. It's a disaster. So that's what we believe in. Yeah, that's a very good point. And, I'm, and you know, your takeaway on engineering is very important. Yeah. And um, so let me ask you, you know, you, you talked about customization. And I think, um, when I, let me ask you, the whole process of engineering, particularly the Aristo engineering to the product, and how Karigar takes that engineering and translates it into a design. How does that whole process work? Because when you customize, you need to customize with keeping the engineering in mind. So how does that whole process, explain that to us. See, the engineering process is a detailed, uh, you know, study of what should be the right calculations about the height, width, depth, measurements, etc. Right. To ensure that the final product that we are getting, let it be a small drawer or a big drawer, there has to be a calculation about the height, width, depth, and accordingly the channels capacity of the weights and everything, the hinges, all those things have to be calculated and well, you know, informed and updated on the diagram so that these are properly executed. That's how you get the Correct and you know, correct designs and everyone. So yeah. yeah, very important. And I think you know what really separates Karigar and many other store is that the fact that we have a lot of designers in the market, and they're very, very good at their design work. So what is the real differentiation in my mind is that the designers who use factories that don't have the engineering are going straight from design to manufacture without that bridge of the whole engineered product and I think that's a really big vacuum that we see. So Ashita, you know, um, what is the past experiences of your customers and you know, what do they say, what do they talk about uh, when they talk about uh, Karigar? Like I already said, uh, you know, our vision kind of uh, really permeates every single place. So it is, uh, you know, we always believe, uh, we are very, very big believers of aesthetics of course. We are, that's what luxury also is all about. But we always kind of try to marry 
like you know the aesthetics with functionality because something which only looks good you can like it only for a certain amount of time but when you are using it day in and day out that is when it kind of grows on to you you have to have that ease of what you are using you know you should, it should be just so so easy for you just kind of becomes a part of your lifestyle and stuff like that so you know when when we work in in these kind of details that is the everyday experience of using that kitchen everyday experience experience of just you you know sliding that aristo shutter which might be 65 kg and it just feels like maybe 5 kg right even a toddler can you still operate it so those final it is for me it's always the final details that is what i think makes the difference you know i always believe especially with women we we always um, get get drawn to shoes which look really great and so many a times on the on our whims and fancies we kind of buy them but we realize only later when we wear them for an event and we have to actually use them for a longer duration we realize okay this is something which is not working out <laughs> so you know some same i think the same thing goes for the home um marrying aesthetics and functionality is something i think we it, we've just learned and we've mastered over the years so that experience of living in a house which has been made with so much care detail understanding of and experience over the years i think that is what really draws us apart and that is what you know people understand and feel and that is what we also communicate when we are talking about us and our brand and yeah it just makes us so uh, want to do more <laughs> yeah, it's uh, really a great message yeah. thank you so much ashita i you know I'm, One thing I'm really very impressed about with Karya is, you know, um, you've been doubling every year, and you know, I can understand it's easy to double when you're small, right? When you have a small shop, you have three employees, it's very easy to double. But 12 years, non-stop doubling. I mean, that is like exponential growth. And uh, Ash, I want to ask you now, how do you, how can you maintain? See, when you get to a large size, how do you maintain that? doubling every year because it's it's a really difficult task uh, actually when you do things with more of strategy and uh, process i think uh, being in a marketing and sales right i believe data is god firstly and like i don't know like i feel it data tells everything so what we have done when we see our past growth right what works for us what is actually working for us and what can be better you know uh, to learn our like you know what did work for us what is making better and how we can make it better so we have make such processes in a, our strategy uh, which we are always form a believer like you know okay, we wanted to be make it in this manner so that it's easier it it matters like if you are working with a three people and if you are not strategic not working with a proper strategy you will never grow same way it goes even though now if you are working with 100 50 like 50 100 even though the 500 you should know where what you wanted to do how your strategy is making what's the process you are building you know there are a lot of things involved in this so i think yes of course our strategy what we believe and what we are doing in fact with the aristo also right like it's a long journey association right what we have and i believe uh, with this correct manner strategy we are still like you know we have built this experience center also so of course if somebody is working with the proper strategies and process i think the growth will never stop for them good uh, so i'm going to wind up this live with a just a, a very quick uh, rapid question uh, session <laughs> so abhishek start with you okay? okay what is your personal preference traditional contemporary Modern rustic, contemporary, contemporary, God of contemporary design. Yeah, contemporary. <laughs> Less is more for us. Less is more. Yeah. It should be minimalistic. The home should yeah. look like a home. Yeah. Should not look like a hotel. Yeah. Okay, believe in all this. Right. That's good. Yeah. And in fact, I think many customers self yeah. select, yeah. and when they're looking for contemporary, yeah. they do come. Yeah. But I, I have seen a, a bit of a deviation. You have a beautiful uh, uh, classical kitchen downstairs, uh, <laughs> and uh, it looks great too. So. Yeah. <laughs> Every customer has their own choice. Yeah. So, can I quick question to you? In terms of finishes, do you veneer or natural materials? No second thought. P U. Great. 
the kind of finish, the kind of sheen that you get of that, it's like unmatchable, especially with the kind of pure finish that we get with the Risto, it's like unbeatable anywhere. All across India, nobody can beat that finish. Yeah, pure at any time. Um, Ashita, yeah. since you talked about shoes, <laughs> pumps, heels, or clogs? Pumps. Pumps. Yeah. For comfort, huh? Practical uh, feel. I would say uh, it has best of both. It has the comfort of similar to a clog. It doesn't, uh, you can still wear it longer and you still get that feel of a stiletto. So it's somewhere in between. <laughs> So again, marrying functionality with placement. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Ash, uh, in terms of media, Facebook, Instagram, or customer references? In terms of media. Yeah, what's your choice? Of course, customer references. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. And I really believe in that as well. Because of unless the customer loves the product. It's a word of mouth is everywhere. And like, you know, what I believe. Uh, the word of mouth spread faster than Facebook and Instagram yeah. and it goes to so many, so many, so many. It's like we believe that we are making house for, like, you know, for any customer. I believe it's the Kariger Experience Center because anybody who is going to in their house, they're going to say, oh, Kariger has done it. Mm-hmm. So I have done like my, you know, my branding also right. and of course, <laughs> happy customer is always the, and uh, it's a good strategy perspective also. Great, so thank you so much for joining us on this Instagram live here at the uh, inauguration of the new Kariga show in HSR, Bangalore. Um, please do visit, there's a lovely team here, there's a great set of products. Um, uh, Alistair is very proud to be associated with Kariga for so many years now. We've had a wonderful relationship and um, we look forward to uh, more and more success together. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you.